Hi, I'm Heidi Barker, one of the authors of the Invictus Mindset book, and I'm here to share one tip with you today about establishing a resilient mindset. One way, one of the foundations of establishing a solid mindset is knowing your breath. Your breath is ultimately the metronome for your mind. So if you can regulate your breath, you can absolutely start to establish regulating your mindset. So the one tip I'd like to share with you today is called box breathing. Box breathing is demonstrated behind me here on the whiteboard. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna inhale for a count of four, five, or six. You pick what feels best to you, and then you're gonna establish that and hold it throughout the practice. So if you inhale for four, then you're gonna hold for four. You're gonna exhale for four, and then you're gonna hold out for four. If you choose five, you're gonna inhale for five, hold for five, exhale for five, hold out for five. And the same thing for whatever number feels good to you. And the best way to make sure that you do it every day and really establish a habit is to maybe set a reminder on your phone at a convenient time of day where you can just take three to five minutes to work on your breathing patterns. And this will be the first foundation that we'll work on to really get you to understand how, what it is to connect your breath with your mindset, how it affects one another, and to start establishing a resilient mind. Hey guys, Calvin Sun, Invictus coach and co-author of the Invictus Mindset here. And I want to talk to you guys about uh, one quick tip to help you with your mindset. So we talk a lot about limiting beliefs in mental coaching. And when it comes to mental performance, this is one of the things that will hold you back. No matter how many tools, how many skills that you develop, you can't visualize your way past something. You can't do any breath work that's going to resolve a limiting belief. If you fundamentally believe that it's something's impossible, you can't visualize your way there. So for example, one of the best known examples of a limiting belief was one about the four minute mile. And this was a collective one that a lot of people held. So for the longest time, people thought it was physically impossible for the human body to run a mile faster than four minutes. So what happened? A man by the name of Sir Roger Bannister breaks this four minute mile record. He's the first human being to do it. And then within the few years after he accomplishes this feat, dozens of athletes accomplish the same feat just as him. So what happened? Did he break the time-space barrier? Did he change the laws of physics? No. He changed what everybody believed about what was possible when it comes to running a four-minute mile or faster than a four-minute mile. If I had to guess, you probably have some limiting beliefs, whether it's about yourself as an athlete or life in general. But the first step to overcoming any limiting belief is to gain an awareness of it. So my, that's my tip for you guys today. Just start to think about, you guys can do meditation, you can do journaling, or just sit in deep contemplative thought. Whatever works for you. But the, the goal, the intention, is for you to figure out what's this limiting belief that's holding me back. So give that a shot, guys, and I hope that helps you. Today, I wanna to talk about changing your posture to change your mindset. Posture means so much for us, whether we're talking about in the gym or outside the gym. But posture conveys confidence, and once you convey confidence, you can actually start believing that you are capable of doing whatever task is at hand. So in the gym setting, we talk about this for years. We've talked about postures of defeat. What's the most common one we see in CrossFit? It's holding my knees, right? Like I've gotta keep my shorts from rolling up. That posture though does not convey confidence. It conveys retreat, right? We're sitting down, head down, trying to shut out the world around us. When we stand up tall though, we see that the tasks surround us. The same is true outside of the gym. We wanna see people outside of the gym standing tall, looking around, looking for opportunity. When we see somebody walking around slouch, we think, oh, they're really tired. We don't see that energy. So make sure whether you're in the gym training and you're taking a rest break between sets, make sure you're standing tall. Or if you're outside the gym and you're walking into a big interview, make sure you're standing up tall. Change your posture, it will change your mindset. You will become more confident.